This is an astigmatism correcting multifocal lens implant. Specifically, it's the NV Toric Multifocal Intraocular Lens or IOL. There are alignment marks on this IOL. This lens is at axis 25 degrees. In this position, his refraction and vision are as follows. We ran a calculation on astigmatismfix.com to determine what would happen if we rotated this lens implant. The lens should be at axis six degrees to reduce this patient's refraction as shown, which should improve our patient's unaided far and near vision. Now, how do we rotate this lens People implant? People who wear astigmatism correcting or toric contact lenses will notice blurry vision when their contact lens is not properly aligned on the surface of their eyes. When we implant astigmatism correcting lens implants, if the intraocular lens is not in correct alignment, then the patient's vision can become blurry or misfocused. So for example, this implant has a mark right here and right here that helps us to align it properly. If the implant is slightly rotated out of position, then that individual's vision will not be clear. And if the desired alignment is in this position and the actual alignment in the eye is in this position, then that patient will be blurry. Just for reference, this is an astigmatism correcting lens. And if we rotate it, you can see how the vision changes. That occurs on contact lenses that correct astigmatism if they are not properly aligned on the eye, and it occurs for lens implants placed into the eye. I have a gentleman who traveled to see us from Alaska for cataract surgery, and because he had a lot of pre-existing corneal astigmatism, we chose to give him the NV multifocal lens that corrects his astigmatism. We call these toric multifocal lens implants. On March 25th, we treated his left eye. On March 26th, we treated his right eye. His vision was fine, but eventually he noticed that the vision from his right eye became blurry. Here's our patient during surgery. Their eye is anesthetized with lidocaine and we use an axis marker to mark axis 26 degrees. The eye is filled with lidocaine anesthetic and a Sinsky hook is used to try to rotate the NV multifocal lens into correct alignment. We're unable to rotate it, so we fill the eye with viscoelastic and then again use the Sinsky hook to try to rotate the lens clockwise, but are unable. So therefore, we place viscoelastic between the lens capsule and the implant to create space around the lens haptics and again use the Sinsky hook to rotate the lens clockwise about 19 degrees. Once we feel that the alignment marks of the NV multifocal lens are in the correct orientation, we then remove the viscoelastic with our irrigation and aspiration handpiece. We can see the alignment marks of the lens implant and they look like they're in the correct position. But as we continue to work, the pupil constricts. Therefore, we use a Lester pusher to help us visualize the axis mark at the 1130 position. Once we determine the alignment marks are in correct orientation, the case concludes. So you came in yesterday, you were blurry, you had a prescription. We found you had astigmatism. You had the NV uh, lens that corrected astigmatism to your right eye. We saw you, I, have, I took video yesterday of the alignment of your lens, and we just rotated it a little bit yesterday. Mm -hmm. How was that procedure? Was it irritating or no? The, the, the procedure was no problem at all. Okay, and how does your right eye compare with your left eye now? Well, this morning the right eye is doing better than the left eye, huh. as far as clarity. Okay, good. So just. 24 hours later, or when did we do your surgery? In the uh, yesterday afternoon, about five. Afternoon, so less than 24 hours out. So let me take a look at you. I'm gonna look at the alignment of your uh, lens implant. And let's see here. 
Here we can see on the left image the alignment of the lens implant before surgery and on the right image the alignment of the lens implant after we rotated it back into correct alignment. So you see better, your lens should stay stable and this is, yeah, let me know if you have a problem. Tell me again, you live where? I live in Alaska, Fairbanks. Okay. Do you spend more time in Alaska or in Arizona? We come down to, the, to Arizona in the winter and then back to Alaska in the summer. Okay. Yeah. This morning, last night, it, wasn't, it was blurry after the surgery, but mm -hmm. this morning it was amazing because I was able to look at the air conditioner in the room and see the exact same thing out of both my left and right eyes. Now I can see the numbers and the LEDs clearly. Open the curtains, look outside, everything is clear. And you're, are you pretty much glasses free? You're not wearing glasses for far mid or near? Nothing. Yeah. So he has envy lenses in both eyes. And, and I can read yeah. a book because I can focus at 12 inches. So I can read a book without glasses. I can see my computer screen without glasses. And distance vision is amazing. I can see detail as far away as I want to look. Awesome. Uh, all right. Thanks for coming to see us and have a good trip home. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Astigmatism correcting lens implants are highly effective 99 plus percentage of the time. However, in about 1% or fewer of patients receiving these implants, the lens implants might rotate out of their intended position. The simple solution is to go back in, rotate the lens into correct alignment, and the patient should see well quickly. Thank you to our patient who is willing to share his experience. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.